All right, welcome back to the Engage activities uh, for Module 17, which is the unit circle, uh, definitions of trigonometric functions. Today we'll be going over a distance formula. So in example two, they say find the distance between the point seven comma negative one and 16, 11. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna write in my point seven, negative one and 16, 11. Notice how I give them labels, x and y, x and y. The only difference is these are tiny ones because this is the first point I see, and tiny twos because it's the second point I see. Now distance formula is distance equals the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So I'm gonna put these values in their place, take some time to do that now and that would be 16, seven, y2 is 11, and negative one. So I'm gonna work this out, 16 take away seven would be nine, and, neg and 11 minus a negative one would be a positive one, which would be 12. And then if I squared this, that would be nine squared is, 81 and 12 squared would be 144. The last step I would do is to add these two together and that would be 225. Go ahead and square root that and figure out what the distance might be. That's about 15. Now for the ones in your packet, just like it says here, stop and do the problems in your packet before we move on to the next engage activity. Um, for number four, five, and six in your packet, you may get whole numbers or you may get decimals, just so you know. All right, for the next one, engage, are you ready, number 18. That's going over combining and transforming of quadratic functions. So let's say you're given a graph of negative two, parentheses x plus five, parentheses squared, plus one, okay? So the basic format for this is um, our a value, our front value will be two. Our h and k, which is actually coincidentally our vertex, is gonna be kind of plotted in here. Now you'll notice here I have x plus five and not x minus something, right? So think of it this way, a negative times what get me a positive five, a negative five, right? And then our K value is just plus one. All right, so here we have our vertex is negative five and one. And it says here that uh, it is transformed three units to the right. So that's three units. Now if it's to the right, which it does say, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that value to H. Now, our, it also said two units down. So that's two units down. And if that's the case, because it is down, we're gonna subtract that value from K. So our H value is negative five, our K value is one. For this one, we're gonna add three, because we did move to the right. All right, and then for our um, two, we're gonna subtract two, because it's going down. So if I did that, my new vertex would be my new H, and my new K would be what? Negative two and negative one. So I'd write that in. I'd still keep my same A value, and I could simplify this even further and say that this is um, my new equation would be two parentheses x plus two squared, I don't know why I forgot that one, minus one, okay? So just like it says here, stop and do the problems in your packet. Um, you can follow the same format if it helps to do those problems, but they do wanna use um, what your new function would be, okay? All right. And in the next activity, I guess we're going right into 17.1. Um, we're gonna start with an explore, which I know is uh, 
a little different from most, but we'll start with the Explore activity and then move on. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.